All right, Charlie, give me a big hug and kiss. Come on. Love you. You know, I've lived all over the country and I've been to a lot of schools. And that's part of, uh, part of what you sign up for as a football coach. Bye, Charlie. It's a tough business we're in, but you know, you've got you've to have some family time and you've got to have some private time and, and it's got to be convenient. So that was the big deal for us was trying to, trying to get close so I can run home, eat lunch. Um, I can go home at night sometimes, put the girls in bed, tuck them in and go back to the office. But California is always a place Kate and I talked about living, and you know, Cal is a job that you know I thought if it ever opened, it was certainly a place that I'd like to be from a quality of life standpoint and from an ability to win standpoint, both. And so, you know, I was real fortunate that it worked out the way it did. Here we are. I think it's very important for our players to to have a chance to to see me interact as a husband and as a, as a father, and I think that's a big part of my job is. You know, to educate our players not only on how to play football, but also how to get their degree and, and how to handle themselves in, in, a, in a manner that everybody can be proud of off the field. The kind of student athlete we need to bring to Cal is somebody who's number one, understands the educational aspect of Cal and wants to be challenged in an academic setting. The character issue is incredibly important. The third thing, obviously, is how do they fit athletically. My hat is going to go between my man and the punter. And we're going to get out and get into coverage. You know, we're talking about recruiting and dealing with 17, 18 year old kids, and they're very impressionable. And so I think it's very important for them to have, be able to come in and connect to not only to the coaches, but to also their environment and the facility that they're in. Because of the academics, because of the community, or because of the resources that we have available to us, Cal sells itself. The culture's changed in a lot of different ways. The programs have gotten bigger. Uh, there's a, a money element involved. We've got to pay for this beautiful facility we're in right now. And so there's always pressure to win and, and to put a good product on the field. But, but you want that. I mean, you don't want to be someplace where you don't have resources. You don't want to be someplace where nobody cares. Mike, anything else? Our workouts yesterday, good? It's so important to have a good dynamic in the staff room where guys care about each other, they're working together. I think that's where it all starts. From your trainer to your equipment guy to your strength guy to your nine full-time assistant coaches to the young graduate assistants to all of them really having a shared vision. My father was, uh, was a great role model for me, was the biggest influence on my life. You know, not only from a football standpoint, but from a personal standpoint as well. And so it'll be great to, to get his input on what's, uh, what's going on and what he sees, ways to improve. What's great about spring football is I get to walk out here every day for about two, two and a half hours and in practice. And so that's when you get away from everything else and you get to actually be a football coach. We want our schemes to change to fit our players instead of asking our players to change to fit our schemes. It's built on fundamentals, blocking and tackling and being creative and figuring out ways to get good players to football and try to play their strengths. And, and that's how we build our entire program. This place represents excellence and, and being cutting edge, and, and that's what we want our football program to be. That's what's fun as a football coach, developing these young men, watching them come in every single day and improve. Look, the harder you work, the more successful you're going to be, whether it's academics, whether it's on the football field, whatever it is. I like what I see. We got we to improve our execution a little bit better on Friday, okay? Our goal from day one is to, to be to get this football program to the Rose Bowl. It hadn't been done since 1959, and we're not afraid to tell people that, that that's our goal. Our goal is to win a Pac-12 championship and, and get this program to the Rose Bowl. That's why we come to work every day to, to work toward that goal. Okay. <laughs>